we're going to start with a piecewise function that we're going to graph and then we're going to figure out um, for which values of c does the limit as x approaches c exist so where does that exist okay, what values of c um, so we've got a piecewise split up into three parts here First part is y equals x squared, but only when x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, so here's what x squared looks like. But I only want the values equal to 2 or less than 2. So I want to keep all of these, all of this, but not actually that. All right, so that's my top. Then I want to graph 8 minus 2x, but only between those two values. So you might want to think about switching these around. It's like a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 8. So a y-intercept of 8 and a slope of 2. So down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. So we've got It's not very straight. All right, uh, it's a little bit better. Okay, but uh, I'm only going to keep x values that are bigger than two and less than four. So bigger than two would be this way, less than four would be this way. So I really just want to keep this little section here. I don't want to keep that. I don't want that. All right, and then that leaves us with y equals 4, which would just be a horizontal line. 2, 3, 4. And y equals 4 looks like this. Um, but then again, I only want to keep the x values greater than or equal to 4. So here's where it equals 4. Here's where it's greater than 4. But I don't want any of this. Okay, so there is our piecewise function all graphed out. And now we can answer the question, the limit as x approaches c, and c is just going to be a generic number, for what values of c would this function exist? Well, there's lots of places where it does exist. Um, at x equals negative 2, uh, this limit exists because the limit from the left is equal to the limit to the right. Um, at 0 it exists because the limit from the left equals the limit from the right. 2 it exists because the limit from the left equals the limit from the right. It exists almost everywhere. Except there's one place where it's not working out. And that's right in here. So when x is from the uh, 4 from the right, the limit of that is 4. But 4 from the left, the limit is 0. Therefore, the limit does not exist as x approaches 4. So c. So Right here, this guy can't be 4 because it doesn't exist there. So that piecewise function exists everywhere except for C is 4.